Hey, what's up everybody, Rich Gaming Guy here. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up the recoil on your Sindon Lycon within Botticera. First, you wanna make sure that you have a recoil version of the Sindon Lycon. I previously was using non-recoil versions of the gun, so I didn't have that option. Just picked this up, it was just shipped out to me from Sindon, and it's awesome. But when I plug it into my PC and jump into Botticera, it does not recoil by default. We have to go through some settings here. I'm gonna show you guys what the process is entirely in this video. But before we get started, I wanna shout out Mobile Decay here on YouTube. I was searching high and low trying to figure out how to actually enable recoil. It's a really simple process, but if you don't know that process, it can be frustrating. I was looking all over the internet trying to figure out how to do this, and Mobile Decay here on YouTube pointing me in the right direction. So check out that channel. I'll put a link in the description of this video. It's a great channel. Definitely a lot of great content on there. So if you're into my channel here and you're into emulation gaming, you're definitely gonna like what he has to offer there as well. So check him out, link in the description of this video, but let's dive into it. I'll show you exactly what we need to do here to get this recoil up and running. Also gonna show you though, a couple different features on here where we can change the um, type of recoil that we have on the Sindon Lycon. Let's dive into it. All right, so as you can see, I just booted up my Botticera light gun build, and I have already plugged in my Sindon light gun here. You can see that by the white border that surrounds the screen here. That just confirms that your Sindon light gun has been connected and is recognized by Botticera. But if I pull my trigger right now, you're gonna notice that I have no recoil on here. So what we need to do is we need to open up our main menu. Once we open up our main menu, we're gonna go down to controller and Bluetooth settings. We're gonna select this option and about midway down, you're gonna see Sindin gun settings. Now this is only gonna populate in once your Sindin light gun has been attached to your PC. So we'll jump in here. First option is border size. That's gonna be the white border that you see on the edge of your screen. You can actually change the settings on this to thin, medium, or big. I'm fine with it just by how it is right here. It really doesn't bother me at all. But if you want it thinner, you can certainly do that by adjusting the border size. So recoil is the second option down, and by default, it's selected as auto. Auto means that it's not enabled. So if we hit enter or select that option, you're going to see the drop down here, which has four additional settings from auto. We have gun, machine gun, quiet gun, and quiet machine gun. These are just quieter modes of what is right above it. So gun means that when you pull your trigger, it's gonna recoil one time. If you continue to hold your trigger in, it's only going to recoil that single shot. If we go down to machine gun, this is going to change it. So if we hold down our trigger, it's gonna to continue to recoil over and over again. So it mimics that of a machine gun effect. So I'm gonna change everything to just the single shot here. All we have to do from this point on is just back out of this and it's going to save these settings. So now let's jump into Time Crisis and try it out there with the single gun setting for recoil. So now I can pull my trigger every single time, you're gonna get that recoil effect. So let's check it out in game now. This mission will shoot. Action. If I pull quicker, it's going to react just the same as every time I pull this. So if I pull multiple shots quick like this, you can see the recoil keeps up with you just fine. All right, so we took a look at what it's like on just the regular gun setting. So let's change it over to machine gun. So we're gonna open up our main menu again. We're gonna go into controller and Bluetooth settings. And now we're gonna go back into Sindin gun settings. And we're just gonna go to recoil and move that over to machine gun. We'll select that, back out, and it's going to save that setting. So let's jump into Alien 3 the gun because that's a great machine gun arcade game where we can really test out the performance on the Sindin light gun.
All right, guys, you can see firsthand exactly what the process is to get your recoil enabled on your Sindon light gun within Botticero, and also what the settings adjustments entail and how you can customize this from game to game to just better your overall experience. So again, I wanna thank Mobile Decay for pointing me in the right direction with this. It was a huge help because I searched again high and low on the internet and just wasn't finding this specific information to get me into this experience perfectly. So. Special thanks to him. Check out the channel. Again, link in the description of this video. But if you enjoyed this video and you found this information helpful, smash the thumbs up on the video. It's a huge help to me here on YouTube. And of course, hit the subscribe button here on my channel to see future videos and just stay in the loop for future updates. That's going to do it for today, though. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.